Hey people. Hi. It's lobby time and today we are trying new cereals. Check this out. Okay. I got super excited when I found out that Dunkin' was actually making their own cereal. It was pretty much, to me, the uh, biggest highlight of 2020 because wow. I... Wow. What? Wow. Was there anything bigger? No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough there. Well, if there was and I missed something out, then I feel terrible. But this cereal, I mean, I was super excited for it. I love a good Dunkin' cup of coffee. I love cereal. Blend the two together. I feel like you have a match made in heaven. It's true. And, you know, the two flavors that they have are uh, pretty interesting and I think pretty uh, pretty standard for a first go around on caffeinated coffee cereal. So, of course, we have mocha latte. Is it actually ca caffeinated? I think it's caffeinated. I read somewhere that it was caffeinated. I don't it know if that was a lie. Concentrate. So, so yeah, it is yeah. caffeinated. What kind do you have there? I have caramel macchiato. Ooh, caramel macchiato. And we love caramel in this household. Caramel's basically one of your favorite things, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's like pumpkin and then caramel. Uh, maybe they'll do a pumpkin one one day. <sighs> Probably not this year. Maybe next year if this goes well. But I think uh, for, you know, for cereals, just looking at them both, I am more interested in the caramel macchiato than Same. I am the mocha latte. And but that could be like a Cocoa Crunch or what is it? Cocoa Krispies? Not Cocoa Krispies. I can't think. Cocoa, okay. Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs. Oh my goodness. I was like, well, I don't know where you're going with this. I really want to know where you're going with it. I just don't know though. It was bad. Wow. Cocoa Puffs. You are absolutely right though. They, they could be like Cocoa Puffs with a little coffee flavor. So uh, I already opened them up so it would be easier for us to uh, get our, our first smells and, and such with it. So let's go ahead and open the top and I'm going to open mine here. Oh my gosh. It smells like a bag of coffee. I'm yeah. so excited. That's the uh, first thing I'm noticing on this too. It is, Whew. it smells really chocolatey, like really heavy on the coffee. So I think, oh, I think it'd be good. Let's, let's switch. Oh okay. yeah. But the caramel macchiato smells better. The caramel macchiato mind. does smell better. The caramel macchiato literally smells like a bag of caramel coffee. It is, oh. This is gonna be good. So let's go ahead. Let's. Why don't we start? Since we think we're gonna like the mocha latte less, why don't we start by pouring a bowl of mocha latte and uh, doing a taste test? All poured, and our milk is now in there too. So, am I going first, or are you going first? You go first. Okay, why don't you uh, read some fun facts about Duncan or that box, whatever. I don't know. Duncan has been serving coffee for 70 years. There are approximately 12,800 Duncan locations worldwide, most of them in Boston. Isn't that like where everybody loves mm -hmm. Duncan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I love, they have like how to. Pronounce it's caramel mock e a to. Mm. <laughs> and the word espresso means forced out in Italian. Oh. Conan O'Brien would say that it means that you have to drink it fast. All great fun facts. <laughs> so, okay, I've had three bites now, so I'm gonna pass it over to you. Grab your spoon. And I, uh, you know what? I'm actually pleasantly surprised with it. The uh, rice puffs, they're corn puffs, whatever kind of cereal it is. It's, uh, it's, you know, they're nice and crunchy, but not too dense getting through. The milk's able to get in there. And, you know, of course, it's not soggy yet, but that'll change. Uh, I'm definitely getting the coffee and chocolate flavors together. Maybe I'm crazy. I feel like I taste a little caramel with it, too. 
and you you think I'm crazy? (laughs) You don't get any of that? Okay, I'm crazy. It's official. Uh, I like it though. You know, I I will probably not buy mocha latte again. If I wanted like some cocoa puffs with a a little dash of coffee, I would have this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Yeah, I just. I want to drink the milk really bad because, like, I, I think the milk's going to be fantastic. Yeah. I feel like chocolate cereal for me. I want once a year. You know, I want to get my box of. I want to get my box of Count Chocula, and that for me is like that is peak chocolate cereal. This is good, but I don't need. I don't need chocolate cereal year round. I get I get enough of it at Halloween with Count Chocula, and then I'm good. But. I, you know what, I'll give this, uh, I'll give this, uh, I'll still give it a thumbs up. It's, it's good stuff. Good just, stuff. Just like we hope you'll give our video a thumbs <laughs> up. Now, I, I would give it a thumbs up, but I don't love it. I'm not wild about it. I think it's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Well, shall we move on to the caramel macchiato? Yeah, we should. You are starting on the caramel macchiato, so let me give you a little bit of Duncan history in the meantime. William Rosenberg opened up his first coffee and donut shop in Quincy, Massachusetts called Open Kettle. That was 1948, and then in 1950, it became Duncan Donuts. And what's the next important one? Oh, 1970, first Duncan Overseas restaurant opened in Japan. Uh, Munchkins were introduced in 1972. The time to make the donuts advertising campaign began in 1982. Breakfast sandwiches added to the menu in 1997. And uh, let's let's cut forward to 2019 then. Dunkin' Donuts changed to just, just Dunkin'. And then in 2020, Dunkin' Caramel Macchiato and Mocha Latte Cereals are launched. What do you think of it? It's really good. It's really good? It's really good. It is hard to like eat cereal because I know that I am a loud chewer. Mm -hmm. So it bothers me. But it's delicious. I definitely prefer the caramel macchiato over the mocha latte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what do you think? I absolutely agree with you in this. Uh, the, the, they're, you know what? The caramel macchiato one is really good. Mm-hmm. It's actually really, really good. I don't, I, I don't feel like you eat caramel cereal very often. I don't remember having a caramel cereal before. The only thing that's slightly similar in taste is, um, what's the waffle one? Eggo. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they, um, no, that's not. Eggo it. did make a version of but it, it, but it wasn't that. Yeah, it was. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even think about it. It's not like waffle crisp or something basic like that, no, is it? No, that's cookie crisp. That's right. Um, it's like honeycomb. No, honeycomb but still I, tastes that, different uh, too. It's kind of similar. I know. I, I get where you're coming at. There was the the one waffle cereal back in the I 90s. I think it was though. by Post. Maybe it was, but I don't know why we're sitting here debating over which caramel it's style cereal it is. Very important. I will say this is the most unique caramel cereal then that I've had if I have had something else with that flavor before. I really love this. Yeah. Uh, we actually have a second box of the caramel macchiato in our pantry with the assumption that it was going to be really good and it was on sale. So I like, might as well stock up. We're going to love it. And luckily I do love it. I think it's really, I good. think it's an awesome cereal. Yeah. I could do without the marshmallows. I don't think they're adding anything. Marshmallows are great. All the okay. time. That's, I, I get why you would think that, but. I don't know. I like marshmallows. Maybe that's mm-hmm. like where the coffee is. Hmm? Maybe that's where most of the coffee is. Oh, I mean, it, it could be. I don't know. I would think it would be in the puffs. I'm not sure, but I like it. I'd recommend both of them. But if you're a chocoholic, I hate that expression. If you're a chocoholic and you love your coffee, definitely the mocha latte. If you are a fan of caramel, caramel, whatever you would call it, yeah, I would say go towards the caramel macchiato. I mean, if you like caramel macchiatos, obviously, yeah, you'll love it. But it's like a. Extra I'm just gonna try sh- to drink the milk. Okay. Mm. 
Maybe it hasn't set long enough, but I'm not getting any caramelness to the milk. You want to try that? I'll try the, yeah, I'll try. I'll let you know how it is. Let me know. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah, coffee chocolate milk. That's awesome. Yeah. So oh, the mocha that latte, that has now changed for me. <laughs> this is worth drinking, uh, eating alone just so you can drink the milk later. So Maybe just like set it in there, strain the... I'd be fine with that too. Give it give it to someone else. Give it to a friend afterwards. So, <laughs> Here's some soggy cereal. Yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. So you would recommend this cereal? Absolutely. It was really good. Me too. I think I yeah. would recommend it. So if you find it at your grocery stores and you pick it up and you try it out, let us know in the comments below. And uh, if you have any other favorite cereals out there that you want us to try, especially these specialty flavors that are limited, please let us know too. We'll keep an eye out for them and hopefully get it and try them and yeah. like them. Hopefully. So. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. But in the meantime, too, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell so you get notified when we have new videos. And then, of course, hit that thumbs up and tell us you like what we're doing. Yeah. So I think that's it for this session of Lobby Time. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see you next time with another Lobby Time. Until then. Stay healthy. Stay healthy.